Super Day, my super friends, and welcome back to Super Nintendo Rides, the monster train. Guys, this is a bittersweet moment for me, because this is it. This is the end of the line. This is the end of the track. We're pulling the train into the station to park it uh, now for good. Unfortunately, it seems that Monster Train is is ending its run here on the, sh on the channel. Uh, I have enjoyed this game. I think this game is wonderful. I tell you all the time how great I think it is. And this is like, this is real personal for me because this is the game that launched the channel. And so, Monster Train, thank you. Developers, thank you so much. Um, you know, we, did, we didn't get this for free by any means, but, um, but I want to thank the developers for all their time, their sweat, their tears, and uh, this is a really great game. I can't tell you guys enough how good of a game this is. So, that being said, like I said, this is a little bit bittersweet, but we are making changes. We are going to start cutting things. Um, so if you like a series, if you want to see more Monster Train, um, of course, let me know down in the comments. Let me know with the like button. Share the video. I, I have to take that stuff seriously. And so um, we want to we want to move the brand towards something that you guys will like and something that evolves what the channel means. So, um, so tip in my hat to Monster Train. One last time, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. We're gonna do a run, um, and try and we're gonna try and get get a win, of course. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the greatest at this, but <laughs> but we'll try. We will try. Okay, so Monster Train, you ready? Viewers, you ready? Super friends, you ready? Let's do this one last time for Monster Train. All right, let's do it. Standard run. Nope. Let's do logbook. Let's see. Let's see what we have. And then we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. We've got Hellhorn Umbra. Hellhorn Melting. Okay. Uh, maybe. Let's see. Stygian. Hellhorned. Uh, do, 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 do. I kind of like Hellhorn Melting. That's interesting. Or Hellhorn Umbra. Well, how have we not done Hellhorn Umbra yet? That seems like that would be really easy. Let's do that. I mean, not necessarily easy, but like that it would be good, a good run, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So Hellhorn, Umbra, I mean, we're still there on the Umbra. What do we have, Plank or Shade Splitter? Or Plank or Shade, Shade Splitter is what I mean. Uh, let's go Shade Splitter, actually. I think Shade Splitter is, is slightly better. And let's see, do we want the Queen or do we want the Hellhorn Prince? I honestly, I haven't played with the queen enough to really have opinions on her. So let's play as her or him. I guess a queen could be him. And let's see, we have the architect. We have Dark uh, Ar Arcus. Excuse me, gosh. And then we have S uh, Seraph, the temptress sap two. So we got a sap deck. Maybe a rage deck would be a really good counter to this. And we've got some, these are actually pretty decent cards. I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm feeling this. Let's jump in, okay. Um, let's see, artifact first. That always makes sense. Units cost minus two. Then will this make, this will make all of these free, right? It will. It will, this, this is really interesting. When you play a card with consume, and restore five health, do we have any consumed cards? We do not. So I'm gonna do units. This was gonna let us get some more expensive units. And let's see what we get here. Kill an imp unit, deal 20 damage per imp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Deal 20 damage per imp on enemy units. How many, like, does this add up? Um, let's see, resolve. So at the end of the turn, add a queen's imp lane to your hand. Imp units cost minus one on this floor. I mean, I'm not really worried about the minus one. I'm just really interested what this means. Kill action at the start of the unit's turn. Kill and kill all imp units. Deal 20 damage per imp unit per. But how do we get more imps then? You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, like, like these are free. These are free. I really, I don't think that this is good enough. Deal 10 damage to front enemy unit whenever it's used. I, I really don't think that that's good enough. Okay, I'm going, I'm going full kill all imps. Kill all imps. 
Destroy all monsters, kill all imps. I, maybe it's maybe that's the wrong choice. Uh, we are going to do this. This is the first round. We should be okay. If we're not, then guess what? You guys get an extra long episode to say goodbye. And I'm excited because it just gives me a chance to play more Monster Train. We will definitely we'll revisit this if they give more content or anything like that. I have to say, though, I, I have loved my time with Monster Train. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're going to deal deal damage. Pop you here. Great. I mean, I guess... Kill all imp units. Deal 20 damage per imp to enemy units. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this has to be units only affect their current... I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. This energy is interesting. You're still gonna all die. So let's, let's just pop you up here. This says what at the end of the turn, isn't it? Is action triggers at the start of the unit's turn. Okay, so this just has to survive through us being hit, then, right? So let's pop, let's pop you up here. I want to see what happens. I'm just, I'm interested. That's, that's all it is. It's just interest. We, I will tell you though, these ant umbra assaults, they're, they're just so good. They're just so good. Let's hit you again. Great. Um, we want to give you some life steal, but that's not really how we want to do this. No, you'll die. You'll die anyways. Let's pump you up here. We're gonna pump you here. We we can't do anything else. So let's just pump you down here, let you guys die. We're good. We're good to go. So it it doesn't look like it did anything. Uh, I'm gonna pop you here. I don't. Uh, to be honest, I really don't. I really don't know what's going on. Um, I'm not gonna pop that imp unit. I mean, the imp units are free, which is great. We're gonna hit you. That's wonderful. Oh, let's pop you. Let's pop you. Just might as well do a little bit of damage here. Um, I mean, energy. We. That's nothing to shake a stick at. We'll let it go. What did we, what was our secondary class? Our secondary class was Umbra, right? I'm not I'm not going crazy. Um let's see, does this Oh that's not what we wanted. Well Well crud. <laughs> I mean I guess you got two you got days two, so you're dying. I who knows? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure we made the right choice, but whatever, I guess. Let's see. Move a unit to the front and apply armor 10. I do actually kind of like this card. The fortify though is real good. And then, but this imp, this imp is so interest. It's so interesting to me to have just a ridiculous amount of imps. I am gonna do the fortify because I think fortify is a really good card. Like just really, really good. Um. I don't think that any of these are that great. Ant Umber Assault is interesting, especially if we want to get rid of those Shade Splitters, which we probably will do. And then what do we want to do here? Hellhorn Unit or Umbra Unit? Oh, gosh, I... Okay, what what would we upgrade if we... I mean, I, I really don't know. I don't know what we'd upgrade because it depends... What do we have in the next? What do we have on the next floor? This is this is going to be the deciding factor. We have a duplicate. We have a little uh, guy thing. Since we have a guy thing, let's go over here to the right. Let's get an Umber Banner unit. Which, honestly, this this is pretty good. That's a pretty good card for us. And what do we have here? Upgrade a spell, remove consume. I don't think we yeah we don't have any consume cards, but we can up something here. Nah, it's still, it's still not great. It's I, 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 honestly, I just don't know. None of these are that good. Let's reroll and see what we get. Upgrade a permafrost, ten magic power. I mean, making an ant upper assault a little bit better is good, I guess. 
It's not great. And I'm going to get rid of, of Shade Splitter. I'm going to I'm not going to get rid of another card here. And let's move on. I, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Armor 10 unit draft. I am going to turn this on cuz one we need more units that are not um, just simple imps, unfortunately. As much as I really like the imp units, we probably need something with a little bit more uh, a little bit more sustenance. Um, let's see. So you're just going to jump all the way up. Because you're going to jump all the way up, I'm going to pop you all the way up here. We're going to put you here. And we are going to kill one of you, which is... That's good. And why don't we pop you, the train steward here. We'll pop you on the second floor. We're All we're really doing is, is prepping. Unfortunately, with the haste, it's kind of a pain in the rear end. But, you know, whatever. Uh, you're dying, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that, but... I'm gonna bump you up there, and then I don't give a crap about the haste, because you're dazed. You guys... Let's go ahead and bump... I'm gonna do this... I, gosh, I just... Man, I really just don't know. The tin armor is really throwing me off because it makes all of these cards just so bad. Just incredibly bad. Let's ding you because you will kill them. That's This is good. This is good. And then we'll, we'll just go ahead and give you some damage shield buff. Pop you down here. I mean, you're still dying, but that's okay. Hold on, hold on. Deal. Oh, to all units. Okay, so that, I mean, this is actually interesting. But you're just going to kill all these guys anyways. So let's just pop you here. We're just going to pop you, pop you, pop you. Boom, boom, boom. It's great that you're killing some people. Unfortunately, here's so here's the, where the problem's going to be. And it's not going to be a problem because we got exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. Um, I hate that. So here, So they have to be on the same floor. We're learning that. Cool. We're learning that. We're going to, uh, unfortunately, do stupid moves there and play a card that we shouldn't have played. I mean, I guess we'll just use these and pop them up to the final four. And I'll tell you what we need. We need a Consumer of Crowns. A Consumer of Crowns is like an automatic starter for us. We just have so many. Yeah, I mean, it would just be awesome. Uh, to be honest, I am absolutely going to buff you up just like that. You're getting buffed, which is awesome. I would love to play this, but it's going to it's gonna be killed. Which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing. Getting a little heal there. We're going. Doing a little bit of damage. Not, that wasn't bad. Oh, it's so close. That's that's so close. Actually, it's so close that now you're dead. Now you're really dead. Now you're super dead. You got hit. You got hit, son. You don't know what to expect. One, two, three, boom, we win. This round. Okay, let's see. 50 coins. That's good. We want that. Summon, gain four energy. I mean, we just don't, we don't need energy. I honestly like the four energy. I don't think that I don't think we get any of those. I wish that we I wish we needed them, but I just don't think we do. Uh, a space prism is interesting. Ooh, a special card. Okay, here we go. Even though a demon fiend is like really tempting, I think a morsel maker is better for our our uh, warden. Our what? Crucible warden? Isn't that the card? I don't know. Um, let's see. And I do, I do actually think we go this way. We get a buff. Let's see what we get from this cavern here. If if we get anything. 
Okay, okay. So a sword, a shield, or a skull. Gosh, purge and piercing. Is it, this is one of the cards that, like, if you don't use it, you you I get it right. Okay, we're gonna take the skull because I feel like I did this before and I was like, yeah, absolutely, this is great. But we're not gonna, gonna use it. We don't wanna use it. So even if it comes up, we're just gonna ignore it. Multi-strike. Multi-strike on, on a Crucible Warden is so good. It is like, that is, that is really good. It would be even better if this was the, uh, the other Crucible Warden. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Let's give you <sighs> health, I guess. Mm, I don't I don't know. We really want We're not going to be able to afford it. So since <laughs> I actually don't think we spend the money on this. Yeah, we no, I don't think we do. All right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> the reason I said we I don't think we spend the money on it is because he's gonna gain health anyways and he's gonna gain damage shield. A really nice sap and dazed, oh gosh, oh gosh. I think that the reason that we don't do it is because whenever he comes out, if we can give him a large stone, it'd be even better. And just giving him like 20 extra health, I don't think he's gonna do enough that it's worth doing. Okay, um, we're gonna pop you here. You're gonna get hurt. That's okay. You're gonna attack for seven, which stinks a lot. Um, let's do it this way. We're gonna pop you up at the top. We're gonna put you here. Yeah, put you there. And we're good to go. And then the Crucible Warden here. Oh, we don't have any room. Nah, now we do. We do. Oh, we don't because you take two. Why would I do that? Okay, I'm going to hit you. Then I'm going to pop you here, which is kind of dumb. We'll pop you there. Great. And then I'm just going to buff our, our last floor here. I mean, more lifesteal is, is wonderful. I'm all about some lifesteal. We're taking a little bit of damage here. Now you're now we're in a good position. We're in a, a in a decent position anyway. We're gonna pop you up front here. Boom, taking a bunch of damage. So good. That's just so good for us. We're gonna pop you here because you're not gonna die. I don't understand. I don't get it. Whatever. pop you here because you're gonna do your thing I'm kind of confused but it's okay I'm not I'm not sure I guess because you were taking a second I don't I don't really know okay all right and I don't think we do anything those train stewards are kind of dead cards right now but that's all right. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Does five damage. This is going to do 13 damage. So this will this will actually kill you. Or make you die. Do that. Add some, sh some armor. Molten Imp's going to get rid of that. What do we have here? More energy. We, we can pop you here. And we are not using that card. We got to remember, don't use that card. We're we took some ridiculous damage here. It stinks that we had to. But it's, it's okay. It's okay.
Um, we're gonna pop you there. That's that's good. Mm, do yeah. I, I'm gonna bump you up there. I th yeah. I do think that that's the right call. Give you a little buff here. We're gonna pop you down here just just so we can do a little bit more damage. And I, I, I don't know if that's the right call to pop that unit there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I made the right call or not. And so the good thing is our deck is so thin once our guys start dying that they're not really like they're not doing like anything, unfortunately. Um, let's see. What's this one? What is this? What is this unit? Plus four attack. This is plus four health. So I think we take you out, which is, this This was a really good one. And we got everything back that we wanted. I guess we could have waited to see what we got, but you know, that's, it's all right. Neither here nor there. Um, well, I would love to play you, Morsel Unit, but we can't play you. We're not allowed to. Let's see, are, are you killing? You are killing, great. If, if that one had the ability to get lifesteal, we would be so well off. See, consume trigger. I really like Shroud, uh, Shroud Spike. Like I, I like Shroud Spike enough that it, I think it's. I think we do it. Crucible Collector, man, cruci a Crucible Collector is really good too. It's honestly that's a, that's like flo a full floor worthy. Okay, energy. I don't really. I don't think is an issue. I think capacity is actually an issue. Because we once we get those those little imp units out, we really can't do a whole lot of anything, unfortunately. And I we really, we don't have a whole lot of spells that I would be like, yeah, let's use it. So yeah, I think we go this way. We could thin our deck a little bit, but our deck really wasn't an issue. Um, rage does not decay. Yeah, I guess we'll take that. We don't really have any rage like units or anything, but we can we can be prepared for that. Okay. Let's see. Rally plus 10 triggers whenever you play a non morsel unit. Oh, this is interesting. Kill an imp unit, deal 30 damage per imp to the enemy units. The only problem I've seen with this is that our imps, they just die so quickly. And like, we don't want her to die. And it's gotta be her move. And since she goes after everybody attacks, this I think would scale quicker. At least in my eyes. So I, th I think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the rally. I think... I really think that this is a good idea. Um, I don't think that doing that challenge is a great idea, though. Like, within good ideas, eating a nice juicy cheeseburger, good idea. Unless you don't like meat, then it's a horrible idea. Don't do it if you don't like meat. Uh, okay, so we're going to bump you here. This is good. We're going to hit you. That's going to take care of one. And you get a little bit of a boof. A boof? A, a boop. Um, I'm going to put you there. And we're going to leave that skull. Because we do not want to use that skull. Do not forget it. No one to use. Um, a life steal unit here is so interesting to me. Unfortunately, we are not going to get you unless we pop this guy up there which I don't think is the right move. I think giving you more damage is is always going to be the right the right call here. And because we don't have multi strike on you, I think we play it this way. Give you a buff. I don't care that you got that and we're not going to use the shroud spike. I mean, again, we're just gonna pump this here. You're getting another another boof. We're, we're boofing. Um, let's pop you here, because now you're doing some good damage for us. We can pop you like this, get, get a few things. A damage shield for you is great. Pop you like that. And we'll let you be, just let you be a little shield for us. So anything we play down here on the bottom floor is actually really good for us. I'm gonna put you here. Ant Umber Assault is wonderful. 
Give you some life steal. That's going to be great. The one problem is putting this guy in front. Eh, it's kind of horrible. Because of that, I'm going to pop you here. And then since we have units, we might as well play them. You guys are both dying, so I'm going to I'm gonna just go ahead and buff you with this. No, we can't. Okay. And then I'll buff you guys up here. We're doing good damage. I don't. It's not like I feel like we're hurting for damage in, in the slightest here. Do, do, do. I mean, even though these are just gonna die, I mean, I, I still think we, I still think we play it. Um. Okay, because he's dying, I'm gonna pop you there. Good to go. There we are. I mean, this is this is a good. I'm feeling real good about this. Man, you're hitting a hundred. You are also hitting eleven on on the Richter scale, though. There. All right, now we're at two hundred, so we want to stop maybe another. That's three hundred. We can't pop anything else. That's okay. That's all right. Let's see. What do we have? Let's pop both of you guys up here. We're going to pop that. Train Stewart. I mean, it, this isn't a matter of us losing. It's just a matter of... It's just a matter of how quickly we win. And I don't want to take any damage, so we'll just get rid of both of those. Perfect. That, that, was, a, that was a great run. Like, hands, hands up, hands down. Simon says, great run. Wonderful run. Ooh, an imp in a box. Consume and add two random imp units to your hand. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Though, branding right? I like branding right a lot. I do think that. I do think it's worth it. Um, Do I think that any of these are, are really worth it? We could we could possibly play evacuation eruption. I'm going to I'm going to take it, but I'm skeptical that we'll be able to use it. Okay, here's the remains of Armageddon. Hope for peace spells with purge have consume instead. Ooh. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now we can just kill a random unit anytime. Okay, so I think we go to the right here. We we don't need the pyre health, but we can thin down our, our stuff. Or we could, we could duplicate. What would we duplicate, though? I mean, oh, honestly, a morsel maker, making another morsel maker, I think is actually a really good idea. What do we have on this next floor? So we have a way to get rid of cards on the next floor. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I stand by this. I think that this is the right call. What do we have here? What do we have here? Ooh, a large stone. A major large stone and a small one. Makes one, makes one unit one bigger. Why would you... I don't... I don't understand what the small one does. Make one unit plus two space, 30 and 30. Yeah, I mean, this is, honestly, it's not even a question. Make this guy that much bigger. <laughs> Actually, making this guy that much bigger is kind of crazy too. I actually, I think that that's the right call. <laughs> I think, I think making him even though the one with lifesteal will definitely survive longer in, like, long-term um, attacks, but I think we're setting ourselves up. If we can give our other one... Uh, ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Shell, spell shield, spell shield. You've got a harvest trigger that's kind of... That kind of stinks. Um... I mean, yeah, you know what? Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. I do think we can do this. We have enough health. I think we can make this work. 
Now, this may be fi famous final last words, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. You, you, that, uh, see, damage shield. Put damage shield here on the second floor. Put you on the third. I'm going to pop you in front just because you're going to buff. You're going to die. The bad thing is this... These harvest units are like a real hard counter to us. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Five damage for a bunch of a bunch of armor is great. Okay. Man, you're doing so much damage already. <laughs> like it's it's crazy. The damage is crazy. Okay, I'm interested to see if this kills. Hmm. I mean, okay, these are free cards. So I, I'm interested to see, will that kill? It does kill. So that that's good. That's good. And then we've got this train steward. Let's pop you here. So we can't play this card because we don't have enough energy, which is unfortunate. If we if we can drop the price on this, I think we're we're looking at something really good. Um, let's see, Eaton. Why don't we do? I actually think we're gonna eat eat the health because it's gonna allow us to survive quite a bit longer here. The damage would be good, but I don't think the damage is a necessity here. Those are gonna kill a few guys. That's great. And Umber Assault is it's just not really gonna do anything. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um I think we play this. You're being iced. Iced, iced babied. I mean, we just use it just to use it at this point, I guess. Train stewards are I mean, train stewards are dead cards to us. That's a hard pill, pill to swallow here, but we just don't we don't have room for them. And if we can get imps out here like quicker, then they're better. Just hit you, you're not doing anything. I mean, I think we just bump you there. You you're bumping us up just a little bit. To be honest, I think that we I think we just let you eat. We could feed these guys, but I don't know that anything's really gonna make it past that floor. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's pump you here. And you here. You've got sweep. So those guys are, were dead anyways. They were dead anyways. Let's pop you up here. Great. Yeah, we'll just move from there. So you're going to do a nice little bit of damage. But unfortunately, I don't think that you're going to survive long. Oh, so much damage. Just so much damage. I mean, we can't do anything else. We can't do anything else. We literally did everything we could do. But man, we made that. Ooh. I'll deal 15, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 15 times the number of imp units you have. Uh, yes. Yes. Apply damage shield. I don't think... The, applying damage shield is really good, but I don't think we can make that any of those work. I'd rather just take the coins and, and buy something or upgrade something if we, if we get the ability to. So here's the real question, though. Is we can go here to this merchant and we can try and build like a strong... a strong collection of, of upgrades. Or we can go here. I'm going to be honest. I think that we go this way. Even though getting rid of cards would be really good. Let's see what we got. Awoken Rail Spike. Stygian Rail Spike. Or uh, Melting Remnant. I don't think Melting Remnant ever. Um, draw X and apply... None of, these are, none of these are good enough. I think we just leave the Rail Spikes. None of them, unfortunately. I wish that the other rail sparks spikes were as good as the one that we have. 
Rage adds an additional plus one stack stack of Rage per... I mean, we might as well do that because we've already got kind of a weird synergy with Rage. All right, let's see what we got here. At the start of your turn, add a random imp unit to your hand. This is a good, a good call for us. When you play your 20th morsel unit of the battle, deal 120 damage to all enemy units on all floors. And by 120, I mean 150. The only thing about this that, that I don't know is do the morsels that we actually... I mean, this one I, I do think we get. And I, I, we'll try it. We'll try it because I want to see if the Morsel Maker, if the units they use, if those work. Apply days to enemy units when they enter the room. The Enter the Pyre Room. Your Pyre gets... Uh, that's okay. Friendly units enter with Rage 3. This is interesting. Grant plus four stacks of armor each time it is applied to a friendly unit. Okay, so we can only have one. Plus four stacks of armor. So this is only going to give us four then, because we're only applying it one time. This, however, is going to give us four stacks of rage. This, yeah, this is just going to make our enemy, our our guys, so much stronger. As much as it would be nice to get that other trinket, I I do think that that's the right call. So you're getting a buff of four on every guy automatically. Now let's see, we have encant. And rally, rally is rally is kind of a hard counter for our first floor, but we can make it work. I think. Of course we, of course we get the that on that floor. So you know, I think rally is what non morsel units though. Yeah, non morsel units. So since it's a non morsel unit. What is it? Okay, what does this do? Apply days one to your units. I I still think we I still think we do it. And I don't know if it's a good choice or not. But I I I just think we do it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Life steal. We had life steal up at the top. I, I think we stay with what we have. The day stinks, but whatever. We'll get over it. Incant, of course. Of course, you're going to have an incant up here. So we'll see. Rage. Okay, so rage three. This didn't give us the extra stack, but it doesn't go away each turn. So, you know, good and bad points. Return a random consumed spell to your car, your hand. Do we have. We haven't used a consumed spell. But, watch this. Bump this here. I don't care that you're getting an encant. Bump this here. Great. Do it again. And then we can hit you just like that. Just like that. I said just like that. Just like that. And then I'm going to bump both of these up here so that you can nom nom on them. This is like... This is great. Okay, let's see. This is the rally one. Of course it's the rally one. Whatever. Bump you guys up there. Okay, so we that this does not count the morsel, the morsel maker. Well, no, we don't know because you were you were stuck the last turn. We're gonna figure this out. So this is another morsel unit. We'll pop you right here. You guys are getting feisty with that, all that damage. Do this, great. Do this again, great. That's a dead card. I don't I don't care anymore. Let's move on. Oh, just another pyre chomper. It's another pyre chomper. I'm gonna absolutely play this. What is this? Encant? Get out of here with your encant. You're going to make it up, but you're only going to hit one. Am I really that concerned about it? I'm going to be honest. No, not really. I am going to just go ahead and use that. 
Um, let's see. And I am going to pop you here because it's just making you stronger. Which is, it's just all the way around good for me. I'm not sure why these aren't dying, though. Oh, she's still dazed. That's why these guys aren't dying is because she's, like, super dazed. That's understandable. Okay, we'll pop this in here. Um... Yeah, we'll just let you eat, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Gave some life steal and some a damage shield. Took a little bit of damage. It could have been a lot worse, though, for sure. Okay. Pyre Chomper out here, for sure. There we go. Great. Pop you here. We should have three, two or three of them that are dying now. Give you some armor. Do we have another spot here? We do have another spot here. Just, just take it. And we got one little guy that's making it up. That ain't nothing. We really got to watch the damage though on this on this middle unit. We're gonna hit you. Oh, apply twenty armor to the front friendly unit. Boom. Great, great. Okay. Deal damage to the front enemy unit. This is going to be the front enemy unit, which is... This is so dumb. Oh, no, it's not. It wasn't. Good, good, good. This is... That's a really expensive card. I think probably because we played it on an encamp floor. Hmm. Can I? I can't do it on that. That's that's unfortunate. What is this? This is a rally. I don't even know. Apply days. Apply days one to your enemy units. I do think that this is worth doing. I don't really... Oh, okay, okay. You're not you're not attacking that. That's the problem. So I don't I don't care about this daze. It's going to go away after this turn. We don't want to play anything else there though. Yeah, cuz we're just asking for it if we start playing there. So the daze should be gone now. Okay. It is. Great. Great, 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 great. Oh, actually, that's like this is perfect for us. I didn't see. I'm not. I didn't think about all these like little extra things. That's so much damage. Just it's just so much damage we're doing here. And this does not count morsel units, right? R right? Yeah, any non morsel units. Okay. So let's get let's get you here. To be honest, I'm going to buff this up. It's not going to do anything for us, but who knows? In the long run, it may. I really like this run that we've got going here. I kind of am sad that this is the last episode and that I had never thought to do this before. But, you know, you never think of that stuff until it's too late, of course. Um, Let's bump out... Let's bump out damage here, and I'm going to... Pop you here to give you a little bit more armor. It's honestly, it's unfortunate that we can't play. Oh, okay, he died. I was gonna say it's unfortunate that we can't play one more morsel unit because we would have hit that and done an uh, automatic one or 150. Okay, so what is what are we like missing though? Shrub mitosis is so good. Trample is really good. Like all of these, all of these, we have a, a use case scenario for them. Trample, this is just automatically going to make our bottom floor substantially better. More armor is great. Shroud, my, Shroud Mitosis, just giving us more. I'm going to go with Trample 
<clears throat> because I think it's I think overall it's probably going to be better. And then what are we missing here? I don't I honestly don't think capacity is is the issue now. Maybe draw. I'm actually I think I'm going to go energy here. Draw draw a fair point is probably a good one too. But you could really go either way on that. Okay, so we can do some some spell upgrades, which is interesting. Or we can do some guy upgrades. What do we have on the next floor here? Because that was that was our second boss. I mean, we have both on the next floor as well. So what do we have that's extra? I think we go. I think we go guy. I think we go guy upgrades. What what do we have in here? Gorge abilities trigger for an additional time. Not even a freaking question. Not even a freaking question. Not even a hint. Um, quick on here. Yeah. If, oh, we can't put it on the one. That's. Oh, that's that's sad. That's sad. Quick is quick is really good though. Plus twenty five health. Giving you twenty five health is is good as well. Yeah, we just didn't get. I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll. The multi strike would have been great. That would have been great. We don't have any money here. We don't. Maybe we'll get some like crazy money thing or something. Melting Stygian Umbra, let's do Umbra. Packed Morsels? All right, I can deal with Packed Morsels. I don't care that it collapsed. Packed Morsels for sure, I think we can we can make this work for sure. And let's see, let's see what we can do here. Rally 15. I mean, this is just gonna scale so much quicker, but it's gonna give, and it's gonna give us a little bit more health. Deal 30 damage per imp unit. Mm, gosh, I died. I don't really know. I mean, getting more health is is really interesting. But I don't think that the killing of the imps and doing 30 damage is really that big of a deal. The rally, though, that scales so quickly. I, I think I'm going to go full rally full rally here. Okay, and then here, I'm going to take 25 more health. I'm going to pop it on, on him, because him having more health is, is better than nothing. A damage shield. I'm just not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the money. We'll just save the money, and let's move on. So it looks like, did it save our um, restores? No, I never, I will never do this challenge restores health when, it, when they move up. I think that that is just literally begging for you to lose. Okay, we're gonna pop this here. Pop a chomper. We're gonna get some heals. We're gonna ice you real quick. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, we're gonna play this, and that really doesn't matter. So the, the really good thing here is that we get double. Oh, I'm gonna pop you here. We're gonna pop you here. This is great. We get double. Um, double gorge abilities, which is the, just so good. Just so good. Um, I am. I'm gonna pop you up here, and I'm gonna pop you here. And let's go ahead. We're gonna get some of you guys out. Let's go ahead and just. I'm just gonna. I'm going to give you a whole bunch here. The Shroud Spike, I'm going to keep the Shroud Spike where it's at for right now. Okay. More po more Pyre hits. Great. We're going to do this. That's great. Do this. That's great. Oh, this is a four. No. Now we're in big trouble here. Oh gosh, yeah. Now, now we're in a lot of we're in a lot of trouble here. Um, oh gosh. Okay, so there is a way we can do it, but we gotta we gotta like we gotta really think about it here. Okay, you guys are both dying. I can do damage to you for sure. Uh, 
Okay, both of you are dying. You're taking just a little bit of damage. I, I think we use this just to help clear the field. Yeah, let's bump one of you up so you can you can help us clear these guys out. So yeah, this is now now we're we're getting the downside to what we've been kind of doing here. Um actually no. So that's perfect. That's perfect. That's just what we wanted. That's the card we wanted right there. That's great. That is great. This does 13 damage. Um, we're gonna pump you here so you can take a little hit and you're gonna rally for us. That's good. This is gonna do three damage, so I'm gonna hit it because. Give you a damage shield. Oh, that was the 20th card. Oh my gosh, do you believe that? <laughs> I don't think I could have timed that any better. All right, let's, uh, we're gonna take care of you now then, and we're gonna go ahead and just play. So I think, I think it's a one-time play though. Uh, yeah, it is. It is a one-time play. It, that's okay. Oh, we can't play another one. We can't play another one. That's okay. That's all right. It's all right. It's all good. There we go. 236 we're already killing you that's this is incredible I'm gonna add the trample just so we can do it and then of course I'm gonna keep buffing these guys up because I'm not a chum there we are awesome awesome yeah we've got we've got a heck of a run we're we're also going really slow and I apologize but I gotta I gotta soak in every second of this apply armor for or Rage 4, Armor 5. I mean, I'm going to be honest. We're going to do that. <laughs> we're we're going to absolutely do that. Um, Ember Cash is interesting. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take that because it's got... It's now a consumed card. It's not a... Well, no, it was always a consumed card. Never mind. That was a, that was a dumb call. That was a dumb call. Okay, so here's the question. What do we want to do here? I think I think we do spells. And let's let's look in here first and see what we have. We're going to compare. At the start of the battle, summon a morsel miner on each floor. That would be good, but it's going to take up a spot. When summoning a second unit, gain three energy. That would take care of all our energy problems. And apply days to an enemy unit when it enters the room below the pyre. Okay. None of those are really, like, super good. If I took one, it would be the flag. For sure. Let's see. 20 magic power and add consume. I mean, we could do it to you. That's not bad. Okay, minus one here. This this makes this so good. Like, don't get me wrong. The extra armor on you is good as well. I actually think we re-roll here. What it, gain hold over. Yeah, I mean, gaining hold over on this, it's, I mean, it's, it's great. That's just great. And then let's see, plus 10 magic power. Deal 15 damage. Well, I, like, I, I understand why they did that, but at the same time, like, come on. Did you really need to do that? Do 30 damage four times. I mean, it is making that better. It is, in fact, making that better. Let's do this on Ant Umbra, because then it's a little bit more user case friendly. And then what do we want to upgrade here? So this is this is where it gets interesting. I actually think an impolate. An impolate. Because it's cheap. Honestly, we should have made that the holdover card. All right, guys, let's do it. Seraph, here we come. I can't believe we're already here. We do have sap, but we have a card that applies rage, which is great. And we have two units that eat morsels a lot. So that's great. We are set. We're setting. We set ourselves up. We set ourselves up for goodness here. Okay, let's see. We're gonna definitely, absolutely pop you on the second floor. I'm not even about to deal with that. Oh, I should have used that down here. That missed call. Missed call. 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna pop you in the front because I... Oh, you got a harvester. Because I want you to take a little bit less damage than what you're taking. Four energy. Okay, we're definitely going to get rid of you. That's not a question. We're definitely going to get rid of you. Um, we're going to apply that to you. Give you some life steal. Life steal. Oh, more energy, more energy. Let's pop you here, give you more energy. It's unfortunate because this guy on the on the middle floor. Where where's all our imps at? Where are our imps? Okay, you're not gonna die, which is great. I'm gonna play that. Play you. You're still not. I mean, they've got, they've got two, so yeah. I mean, at least now we're surviving, and you're doing more damage. I get. I guess. Eat something eight times. This is. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yes, right? Is this what, yeah, this is what we want. I, yeah, I, I think that that's, I think that's the right call. I don't, I really don't know. Man, we're getting smacked by some repeat all summon effects triggered during battle. I mean, okay. Uh, dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah. I'm gonna add that here. You're just taking a little bit of damage. That being said, I'm gonna pop you there. Let's go ahead and use you. Get some Ember Caches in there. So you're not taking any damage. This is gonna do 20 damage. This will, you're gonna die no matter what though, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna do this in hopes to kill some of you. We did. Okay. Oh. This is this is a rough one. This is a rough one, but we're piecing it out one, one at a time. One at a time. Okay, Molten, absolutely, there you go. Pop you here, absolutely, there you go. Um, we're gonna give you some holdover, play that, absolutely, there you go. Even though I would love to give you the armor, it's, it's fine. We're gonna play you, there you go. Life steal on you. There you, there you go. <laughs> um... I'm gonna give you a damage shield. I am gonna put a life steal up here, and we can't we can't play anything else. We've got three waves still to live through. Now we're at two waves. Rally there. You're dying, you're taking some damage. Okay, because you guys are doing this, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pop you up here to take a little bit of the of the heat away. Give you this. We're just, really, we're just gonna prep our, our next floors so that when they fight Sarah, like, they're prepared. Oh, this is like, this is perfect timing for this. So we're gonna pop you there, that's great. 
Give a holdover, give you some give you some umph. You guys are both dying. You're both dying and you're not taking any damage. I mean, because of that, I'm not going to play anything. I'm not going to use that. I'd like to have it this turn. Yeah, I'd like to have it this turn. Give some holdover rage here. That's all the damage you guys are doing? Really? I mean, you're taking a full hit. You're taking out both of them. You're doing 30 damage, so you're automatically going to kill him. This is a this is a wild this is a wild idea. But if we pop you up there, I think that it automatic it's going to automatically win for us because your your daze is going to go away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This was such a good a good idea. We'll repeat all summon effects and give you a ton of a ton of uh, health and everything. You're not going anywhere. I'm just going to hit you and then use this. We did it. We did it, guys. Boom. Super amazing right there. We, man, we figured it out. And I know this is a long episode, but I'm excited that you guys were here for it. Oh, oh, that feels so good. That feels like a good way to go out. Feel that, yeah. I mean, that hit, that hit right here. Oh, man. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the support on the series. Like I said, oh, achievement 15. Hell hath, hath no fury. Hell hath no fury. Merchants now purge cost 20% more. That's okay. We don't like ever use it. And we got a whole bunch of new mastered cards. That's great. Thank you, thank you guys so much for all the support on the series. Monster Train has been an integral part of the team and an integral part of the show here for... Uh, since the beginning and it, it's sad to see it go but i hope you guys enjoyed it uh down in the description or down in the uh description yeah will be a link to the steam store page you can pick, pick monster train up there for yourself i highly recommend it I had a lot of fun with this with this uh game guys as well down in the comments let me know what you like what you don't like let me know what you want to see in the future here on the show and uh give me your best your best monster train um review like what do you think about it now that you've seen seen us play through it it means the world to me that you spend a little bit of time uh, time is a non-renewable resource and i thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me uh through this series and through other series thank you thank you thank you uh, i i can't tell you guys enough it means the world to me uh if you like what you saw you want to help me out hit that like button sh comment down below share the video with friends family anybody you think would like it go pick up monster train uh, award the developers for a freaking awesome game a super awesome game, if you will, and uh, and so much more, so much, so so much more. I'm man, I just I'm pumped we won. I'm pumped that, or I'm I'm upset that we're losing the series, but I'm pumped for the future for this game for sure, for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Super Nintendo S U P A N I N T E N B R O, and of course, come back tomorrow at. Uh, or come back on Monday, I guess. This is going to be on Friday, so come back on Monday at 10 a.m. Central Time for more roguelites as we play through more games and uh, take the channel to the next level. Thank you guys so much. As always, I'm Super Nintendo Bro. I want you to be super. Stay super and have yourself a super day. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.